I'm Pam Brown, filmmaker and actor of Keeping On. And I'm Rick Rose, filmmaker and director of said short film. But above all, we're friends, and we're also members of the LGBT community. Pam is also my personal trainer. Yeah, I keep him in line and out of the fridge. That's right. We're also roommates. A while ago, a couple months ago, actually, I found myself homeless without a roof over my head. Long story. And Pam welcomed me into her home and into her life. And it was actually right here on this sofa where we decided we had a story to tell and we needed to make a movie together. That's right. A lot has happened since the wonderful Supreme Court ruling last June, which allowed for same-sex marriages. But sadly, we've been rolling back in time here in the South, which is very discouraging. But we have a great story here. It's a very timely piece, very poignant for this time. And we thought we needed to bring it to the big screen. It's a story of love and hope, a story where Actually, love overcomes hatred and greed in the South. Keeping on is actually based on a true story. Well, it's it's mostly a true story. <laughs> That's right. It's based on Pam's best friend and his partner of 25 years and their journey to retain what is rightfully theirs. And you know, that story actually began here in Shreveport. So we were thinking, where are we going to film it? And what better place than Shreveport? Than right here. Shreveport is uh, a city in the South that's evolving. It's becoming more progressive, and it has a budding artistic community. And one that likes to work together. As a matter of fact, when we started sharing our story with a select few people, before you know it, we grew an incredible crew uh, of cast and crew members, and you'll see them listed below, and you'll see how incredible they are. But we also want to include members of the artistic community who we've worked with in the past. So I invited my longtime 30 year plus collaborator, Mark McNeese, who used to write for Sesame Street, to come on board as our writer, and Tony DeMito, who's composed music for Law and Order and the Kadar Kar Kardashians. Got a little excited saying that word. The Kardashians? <laughs> yes. I can't wait. I want to meet him. He's a great guy. He'll be composing the music for our film. But, but now, I know what you're going to say. It's time to roll Sad camera call baby. action. Okay. That's right. But you know what, Rick? <laughs> what? We need some help. And we can't make this film without you. We need your support to bring this beautiful love story to the big screen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't go any further. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so good. Oh, my God, so good.